what if all this is right and you're wrong? Well, you're in trouble. No, you're in trouble. And I can tell you right now you're in trouble. If the creator of this universe has made us and made this place, glory to God. And I believe it with all my heart. I believe God, and this, is, this speaks of Him, this, is, this earth, and everything that we see has His fingerprint all over it. Every living, growing thing, every living being, everything that lives that's not of the devil has got God's fingerprint all over it. Created. Created. Amen. As smart as man is, he can't create nothing. Not even a blade of grass. <laughs> That's right, and he can't either. Now you think about it, not even a blade of grass. Right. Praise God. Get all these educated heads together. Thank God for them. Make me a blade of grass, a new species. Why, they can work right on, and they can't make nothing. Now they might mess with what we got. But God made this place. Now he's in charge of, of, of what he's, all that he's in charge. Now, he made it. He gave us this word. He's the one that created the first man on this planet. And from him come all of us. Now, he made it. Who's responsible for us being here? He is. Then he ought to be right. Instead of people going, well, I don't even believe in God. You don't have to. It's your choice. We've seen it before. I'm sure we'll see it again. And the problem with that is if this was the only life, there wouldn't be too much problem. If when we died, that was it. <laughs> it's over and done. You lived your life, you whatever that God gave you, and you're done. But this ain't it. That's right. And this ain't it, honey. I'm going to go to the bottom now. I need to. Yeah. Now. This ain't, this ain't all there is to life is what you see out here. The Bible teaches us that we're going to live Forever. Forever. There's a lake of fire that's going to be forever. There's a heaven going to be forever. Eternity. An eternity. So, you wouldn't have too big a problem if this is all we had. Amen. But we're working our way to, to, to the step of eternity. Where we step from this life into that one. And where we will spend it. Glory to God. Right? That's what we're doing. Now, are we going to spend it here or are we going to spend it there? I mean, in the lake of fire or are we going to go to heaven? One of the two. So, that's going to determine where you go. Amen. And let me tell you something. Um, you're no exception to God speaking to you. He's spoken to every one of you that think like that. If, any, if anyone wants to be listening, say, I don't believe in that stuff. Well, I'm sure God's spoken to every one of you. Just don't reject Him when He does. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. So, we want to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. How does that come? It comes by... Well, and let's re finish reading that verse. It said, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That you may prove what is that good. Now this is something. Who's going to prove it? God going to prove it to us? God going to prove it? God's going to prove it to you. No, he said you prove it. You take the word of God and you do what's good. And acceptable. And perfect will of God. You prove it. How are you going to prove it? Don't you know that you do need it proved to your own self? To your own self. Don't you?
don't you know that the preacher is not supposed to do all your studying and praying and reading? That's where it's why some, a lot of people's in trouble. They just only believe what he said. Well, that'd be all right, I guess. Well, it wouldn't be all right, but it'd be better if he was right on everything. But what if he's wrong? Well, then you're going to be wrong, right? Well, that ain't supposed to be. You're supposed to prove what's good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to change the direction just a little. And let's go to James 4, James chapter 4. Well, it's not changing it, but it's just going to sh I'm going to show us something here. Uh, <clears throat> James chapter 4. 